back to my channel. Today's video is about something interesting and fascinating. It is about the book The Tale of Peter Rabbit by Beatrix Potter. My mom read this book when I was just two years old and since the time I have been four and a half. I have been reading this book on my own from time to time. First, let us know about the author. Her name is Beatrix Potter. She was named as Helen Beatrix Potter after her mother. She and her younger brother loved to draw and were ev very often making sketches of their pets, including rabbits, mice, frogs and lizards. Two of Beatrix's earliest artist models were her pet rabbits. One was Benjamin Bouncer and the other was Peter Piper. This is where her stories of rabbits began forming in her head. Beatrix with her parents and brother would often go to Scotland during the summer and she had the chance to roam around the countryside observing plants, trees, insects and other animals. When she was 16, the family, instead of Scotland, went to Ray Castle, overlooking Lake Windermere, Lake District in England. And her eternal love story with Lake District began. I recommended that all of you read about this wonderful lady who has given much to ignite every child's imagination. Beatrix would often write to a little boy called Noel and in one of the letters, a picture letter, she told a story of a rabbit called Peter and his adventures. The first time I read this book, I could see similarities between my mom and Peter Rabbit's mom. They both seem telling us what to do and what not to do all the time. The, my favorite part in this book is when Peter's sisters, Flopsy, Mopsy and Cottontail went to collect blackberries. It's time to read you all some pages. Come on. The Tale of Peter Rabbit by Beatrix Potter Once upon a time, there were four little rabbits and their names were Flopsy, Mopsy, Cottontail and Peter. They lived with their mother in a sandbank underneath the root of a very big fir tree. Now, my dears, said old Mrs. Rabbit one morning, you may go into the fields or down the lane, but don't go into Mr. McGregor's garden. Your father had an accident there. He was put in a pie by Mrs. McGregor. Now run along and don't get into mischief. I am going out. Then old Mrs. Rabbit took her basket and her umbrella and went through the wood to the baker's. She bought a loaf of brown bread and five currant buns. Flopsy Mopsy and Cottontail, who were good little bunnies, went down to the lane to gather blackberries. But Peter, who was very naughty, ran straight away to Mr. McGregor's garden and squeezed under the gate. First, he ate some lettuces and some French beans, and then he ate some radishes. And then, feeling rather sick, he went to look for some parsley. I shall now leave you there and ask you to read the rest of the story and let me know what you feel. Trust me, you will be transported to a different world. If you like what I'm doing, please subscribe my channel, The Little Whisk. Bye-bye. Daddy, look at that butterfly. That is the butterfly. That is the butterfly I have in my bag.